and welcome back to another episode of Thrift Flip. I hope you are quarantining well and social distancing very well because that is very important during this time and you don't want to get anyone else sick, especially your loved ones and especially your grandparents. That's why I'm actually stuck in my San Diego apartment right now because I don't want to get any of my family members sick. Anyways, so in this video, I wanted to do something different. My grandma gave me a lot of her old vintage clothes like a long time ago and I've never done anything with them. So I was like, okay, since I have so much time on my hands right now, I am going to post on my Instagram story and ask people, okay, I have this fabric, send me a design that you want and choose which fabric that you would like and I'll make you something cute. A lot of people responded, so thank you for doing that. And I chose someone randomly and the design that I wanted to kind of go for was just like this summer blousey, low cut, poofy sleeve type of blouse. I came up with this design. Anyways, I will be making that and hope you really enjoy this process. Yeah, because I've never done something like this where I literally break apart the whole shirt and reconstruct the whole thing. So it'll be exciting. I hope you enjoy. I hope this makes you a little bit more entertained during this quarantining time. All right, let's get started. So this is what we started with, a granny looking blazer with some cute buttons and flaps. So I gathered the inspiration from the other pictures and I created my own little design here. And let's begin. So first of all, I started off by removing the sleeves of the blazer by using a seam ripper. This back part right here, it's kind of flowy. I'm gonna work with that. Bam, fit it like that. Next, I cut out the back part of the blazer so that it would be the front part of the new shirt. Then I folded that top part to an inch width and I pinned all the way across and did a straight stitch. When you stitch, you wanna make sure that you leave a centimeter width of room for the next part, which you're going to measure your breast. Then you're going to pin that elastic to a safety pin and run that safety pin all the way through that space that you just stitched so that you can create this rouging effect or stretchy, cute little effect. Then you're gonna secure the sides with just a regular hand stitch. So I made this top part so that it'll fit like that. Inside, I did the same thing as I did here. Here I didn't fold, instead I added a fabric. Sewed top and bottom so that I can put the string all the way across. I will show you that right now. So like I said, you're gonna grab a fabric. I just got this fabric from the blazer itself. Then I just placed it on the bottom of the boob. I guess, if that's what you call it. And I just did a straight stitch on the top and the bottom, leaving half a centimeter of room so that I can do the same thing I did on the top rouging. Next, you're going to grab the leftover fabric from the blazer and cut out above what used to be the sleeve. So this part is actually going to be the backside of the new shirt. Then I just combined it, pinned it, and did a straight stitch all the way across. And I just cut out the leftover fabric. Next, I just folded that top pinned again and did a straight stitch so that it'd be a cute little smooth looking back. Next, I measured around my waist and I matched the measurements on the fabric and did a straight stitch and I attached the front piece and the back. So this is what came out to be. Honestly, pretty good. Next up, tea. Actually, let's take a break. Good morning, everyone. Today is day two of making this little guy. It's been taking a lot longer than I thought, but it is going to be good because good things take time. But I just wanted to come on here and talk to you and kind of just share with you my thoughts during this like quarantine season. I know that a lot of people are suffering right now. And also there's a lot of people that don't have the luxury to work from home, stay at home and are out there every single day fighting for people's lives. So thank you healthcare workers. Thank you to the people that are still working outside every single day to make ends meet. You are seen and we're so grateful for you and you're covered in our prayers. But I also just wanted to talk to the people that are home and that have been home for the past millions of days. I guess I just wanted to share my perspective on all of this. In all honesty, this quarantining and social distancing for me has been really refreshing in the sense that I just have been appreciating every little thing in life, whether it's going out for a walk, even being able to go have dinner with a friend, just the little things in life. 
I'm just literally shook and so grateful. Also, take this time to just really do things that you're passionate about, to be productive, not to scroll constantly on Instagram, which I am very guilty of and that's why I am doing this, but taking the time to spend with your family, things that you can't really do on a day to day, just be intentional about it and trust me, like it'll be the best thing ever. And lastly, I just want to say, don't be discouraged during the season. Yes, it's crazy and it's hard and there's a lot of uncertainty and fear going around but in this season in this time that much more we need to encourage one another be nice to one another but yeah i just wanted to encourage you all so yeah let's get back to sewing okay so for the sleeves i measured my i don't know shoulder my armpit then i use the same technique that i used on the centerpiece where i fold it I do a straight stitch and then I run a safety pin along with an elastic attached to it to make that rouging effect again. Ooh, look at that stretch. Then I attach the two sleeves to the armpit area of the centerpiece and I just did a simple hand stitch. So here is progress, my friends. This is what you call progress. So I wanted the sleeves to be a lot more princessy and poofy, so I inverted the sleeve. Then I added a piece of fabric, cut the sleeve to the length that I wanted it to be, so the top and the bottom, measured an elastic to the width of my arm and did the same technique as a centerpiece. Then that little weird sticking out thing, I just attached two buttons to it so that they would be tamed. Then I just did some last finishing touches, whether it's sewing the edges, cutting out excess fabric. So here is the before. And cue the montage of how it looks now. <laughs> 